Hey loves, it's spooky season. I miss you guys so much. We're gonna get right into this tutorial because I have so many coming for y'all. So for this look, I started, I already had my eyebrows done for school that day because you know, I had to look cute. So I'm gonna start by using concealer and I'm gonna prime my eyelids. Now you wanna use a light concealer because you want the colors to come out good. So use a light, light concealer and blend it out with the beauty blender. The next thing I want to do is use a dark brown color. There's two different eyes for this look. There's a good eye, which is like a pretty eye and like a bad looking eye. So you're going to use deep colors for the dark eye, the bad eye. And I'm going to kind of make just a smoky eye. I'm going to use a darker brown and I'm just going to put that in the same area, you know, make it a little deeper, a little smokier. <laughs> Okay, so after that, you're gonna take your concealer and now you're gonna cut the crease. So you're just gonna use a concealer brush and only put it on your lid, not in the crease, and you're just gonna fill that in. And on top of that, you're gonna apply black eyeshadow. Now the reason that we use concealer is because you want the black to be popping, like you want it to show up. And my black was really sheer, so I had to put that concealer on first. This black took a lot of perfecting. I had to keep packing it on, so this look is gonna take a lot of patience. So I'm gonna go in with that same brush that I used, the first brush that I used, and I'm just gonna blend all of that out. I didn't wanna make this video too long, so I did the other eye off camera. Now I'm just gonna skip through the next part. Basically, I'm gonna do my foundation routine, which you guys have seen in my other videos, but I'm only gonna do foundation and highlight. No, yes, fine. <laughs> foundation and concealer. I can't talk. But anyways, I'm gonna skip through my contour and I'm just gonna do foundation and highlight. There we go, got it. Okay guys, so here comes the fun part. So I'm using a face makeup Halloween palette from Target. This was only $10. Now I actually recommend that you use face paint if you can. I realized that after this video. But I'm just going to start by making the line where I want the scar to be. And I'm using the little crayon things that came from the palette. And I'm using the black. So the little crayons were too sheer. So I'm going to go back in with the actual palette, the makeup. And I'm just going to use a sponge that they gave and I'm just going to go back over that line. Now this was so thick and hard to put on which is why I said use face paint. But it also does make it look more realistic so it takes a lot of patience with using the makeup instead of face paint. So now I'm just going to use the same sponge and go over and smudge that line. If the line is too bold it's not going to look realistic. So now you're going to use the same sponge and under that line you're going to use the purple face paint. Now you're using the purple because you're going to use different variations of colors. You want it to look like realistic and kind of like fresh and like bloody and bruised and all that. So you want to use purples to make it seem like it's real. Like this is like really my skin bleeding, you know? <laughs> But like I said, you want to use a lot of different colors to make it look real. So I'm taking a purple red eyeshadow from my palette. I'm going to pack it right on top of that purple. Now, I'm not a professional, y'all. This is my first time doing like a hard Halloween look. So take it easy on me, okay? I'm just experimenting. <laughs> So here I'm going in with my red paint. I'm using the same technique and I'm just patting it on right under the purple. Okay guys, so now it's time for the stitches. This was the longest process. So I'm first just gonna take the white crayon and make these curved lines. And the reason I said this took a while because you have to keep going back over them. At first it's not gonna look white because it's gonna mix with the black, but you just have to go over them more than one time. I'm also going to add some detailing with the black crayon. So now I'm going to add some veins to my black eye. I'm just going to take this small brush and a purple, dark purple eyeshadow and I'm going to make veins and then smudge it out with the eyeshadow brush. Hi. 
So we are almost done. I'm just going to highlight my face and then I'm going to take the black face paint and start filling in my lips. I'm going to finish this off with the black eyeshadow because it's just a lot easier. I'm going to add some mascara. And the last step is the fake blood, which is my favorite part. So first you're just going to pat it in where the line meets the black and the red. And then you're going to do the drips. Let me tell y'all, be careful because this was getting everywhere. <laughs> because literally I have no paper towels down here this is the completed look I had so much fun I hope you guys enjoyed I will see you guys soon in my next Halloween look bye loves